Good morning, team. We are up not bright. It's, I guess it looks might be bright to you. We're up early because we're going to go to the Tropolis. Something with a P. <laughs> we're going to go see some old things today. It's 718. We're trying to get an early, we bought tickets for like early bird stuff so that we could beat the heat and beat the crowds. I could not fall asleep last night. I think I fell asleep at 3.30 and woke up at 6.30. So your girl's gonna be a little tired today, but we're still gonna have some fun. We made it inside. Well, inside the gates, right outside this. Um, so yesterday when we walked by at like 2, 3 p.m., this place was absolutely packed and we made the judgment call to wake up at 6.30 and be the first group, pay a little extra, and I think it was worth it because now the people are starting to show up, but we got some photos without anyone in front of it. We got to take some photos of us in front of it with just a few people around it, and it is so calm and peaceful, which is crazy. Like. Normally you'd be shoulder to shoulder with people. So, not I don't know if you're planning on coming here or what your plans are in life, but if you have the opportunity to come here, which is really cool, I'm about to put in my audio guide and listen to a bunch of history about it, but I highly suggest waking up at the butt crack of dawn before the sun so you can get here and actually enjoy it. And the sun isn't burning hot yet, the temperature's grayed out. This is kind of unreal. <laughs> Don't worry guys, I now know it's the Partheon. You don't have to yell at me in the comments. I know it's the Partheon now. <laughs> don't worry about it. Why is there scavenging in the middle of it? Didn't they know we were coming? I'm glad they're preserving history. It's ugly. All right, it's a couple hours later. We went home and rested. I should have been working, but I didn't sleep much last night, so I took a 20 minute nap instead and scrolled on Instagram. I finished another book uh things we can't let go of i think was the name of it and then abby begged me not begged me but kindly urged and asked me to read uh the court of thorns with her a court of thorns i don't know she can't get through the first book so she said can you please read it to know to let me know if what why i can't get through it and maybe if you read it i'll also read it she just wanted me to read it with her so i downloaded that and read the first two chapters i i, I know i can get through it it's it hasn't hooked me yet, but it's two chapters in. Anyway, now the four of us, her dad, her brother, the woman herself and I, are off to do a food tour. Her mom caught a cold, and so she is taking the day off from walking and resting her body, but we are marching on. We are gonna go do a food tour, a three and a half hour food tour of Greek food, and we are very excited for it. And then later tonight, we're gonna go to the Acropolis Museum, because we have tickets for those, but we can go anytime before 9 p.m. So we're excited to walk for another 20 minutes and then fill our bellies. Cornflakes? 
says so. Right now we're touring spices shops, spice shops. Mm -hmm. I wish I could explain the smell because it's like, it's amazing, it's spices, but you won't be able to understand it. and meat market, be glad you can't smell what I'm smelling. It's, it's fishy, boy. food tour was so much fun. We got back and we were all just, we were done for. We all took naps again. We ate so much food, had a glass of, uh, like a little taster of wine. Ozo, what is it called babe? Uzo? Mm -hmm. Uzo and then an aperitif afterward. Yeah. So we had plenty to eat and drink. Our guide was a phenomenal woman and her husband who just did whatever she said. <laughs> he he spoke English. You could tell he was uncomfortable speaking it though. But this woman, you could tell she ruled the streets. She'd walk by a restaurant and everyone would like cheer for her and high five her like they knew her. She she was awesome. We had so much fun. We came back here, napped, and then I just edited my video. And I have to say, I kind of really like the footage from this. It's not shaky at all. It is way easier to carry around because it goes from this size to this size. I can just carry this around, but if I want a tripod and extra battery, I can have this. So I think while I'm out and about, I'm gonna be carrying this guy. And if I'm home, I can just sit it down. I'll be on this camera. Cause this is a better quality camera, but this is easier and the tripod isn't broken. It's on a gimbal, so it's not shaky. So uh, let me know though, what you guys think. Uh, I've been shooting on it all day. So hopefully you guys like it. But yeah, uh, I'm just finishing this up and then we're gonna go to the Acropolis museum because we got tickets with that we got tickets for that when we got the acropolis tickets earlier but you can go any time of the day so we're gonna go to that and then go to dinner oh 
Abby and I just looked at each other. We're like, we are exhausted. We've been going nonstop since we got here. Oof. Not mad about it though. I didn't come travel thousands of miles away to nap and sleep, even though I have done that, but just for like 20 minutes at a time. <laughs> okay, we changed and made it out of the house. And now we're going to the museum of a crapple. Of a crapple. It's a crapple. too close to my face. I need you all to realize that I can't fathom this in my brain, but I'll give you the fact. This is all over, like, this is like thousands of years old, these things. These were like, cause we had like BC and then it started at zero and went to 80. And now we're in 2024, but this stuff is before we started counting our, where we are. Some of this stuff is 4,000 years old. But what, what the heck? What the heck? She's huge. There's so much. I can't take it all in. There's just so much. <laughs> I, my brain can't like comprehend it all. My, my questions have been answered. How they built things. They made cranes with pulley systems. That is so crazy that they were able to do that. What did, what did you say, baby? They have to make the metal parts. Yeah, they had to cut all the wood and figure out the left, like the, the leverage. All right, so we left the museum and now we're underneath it to an excavated part of Athens. So this was all underground and these were houses. These were like houses. Just, this is just the city, and over time, Athens rebuilt on top of it. So, I, it's so crazy. Like, that's the size of a room. That was a room. It's so weird. Abby's dad's having a freak out, being like, how did they build on top of things that were already built? <laughs> I don't know much, much about history, but it's really cool knowing, like, this is how small their rooms were and how close together everything was and that we were able to find it and excavate it. I think that's really cool. We, I didn't do anything, humans. Okay, we're going to bed. We have an early travel day tomorrow. We have to leave here at 7.40, which isn't that bad. But we decided not to do anything fun tonight. I mean, we had fun. We went to the museum and then we went to dinner. And we actually, we were going to Rome tomorrow, but we ended up getting Italian food tonight. We were all just craving some good pasta. We found a really good Italian place. Everything was super, super fresh. So I'm glad we did that. And we came home, it's 9.30. We're crawling into bed, calling it a night. We did a lot today. We were very tired. Uh, I am excited to get some sleep tonight and be in Rome tomorrow. We're going to a really cool restaurant tomorrow night. Abby's aunt, who just got married, uh, her and her wife are honeymooning in Rome and are going to be there at the same time as us, which is really cool. So we're gonna see them tomorrow. Just a happy accident. It's so cool when you run into people when you're traveling, because it's like a, a little piece of home that you get to see early. But I'm gonna bed. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! We just watched Rachel's video. She probably put links on the screen to self-promote, like pics of herself, and subscribe to see more, and trying to get you to buy from a merch store. Hey, don't hate the player, hate the game. She gotta make that money, honey, we're all the same. Well, except she's gay. Don't you support the LGBTQIA? Then subscribe today. Show your